Two at six, we're learning that another student in East Tennessee taken to the hospital after vaping. The principal at Loudon High School telling us one of his students was in class when they had the medical emergency and they were taken to Park West by ambulance. Now, the principal not releasing any more information about that incident or the student, but he says he believes this student's emergency wasn't as severe as the Sequoia High School student last week. That Monroe County student transported by Livestar to UT Medical Center because of a problem with vaping. Well, tonight, school officials hosting staff, parents, and students talking about what they call the vaping crisis and how to keep their kids from becoming a patient, having a problem. WATE's Six on Your Side reporter Kirsty Crawford now tells us what we can expect during that meeting. Any minute now, Monroe County parents will be learning about how dangerous vaping can be and how to spot the warning signs. The CDC updating data today, confirming more than 1,000 respiratory illnesses related to vaping. 16% of those cases involving minors. The Tennessee Department of Health reporting more than 30 vaping related cases. The director of Monroe County Schools and the school and county health departments say it's important for parents to come tonight. What they will learn will shock them. They hope students learn that even though vaping is popular, it can have life threatening impacts. We do know that our children are intrigued with this at this time, mm -hmm. but we know that we've got to catch them and hold them accountable. But I think we wouldn't have to have so much accountability if they had more education on the front end. They'll be playing an educational trailer until about 7.30 tonight. And if parents weren't able to make it to the 6 o'clock presentation, they'll have another one at 7. Reporting at Sequoia High School in Monroe County, Kirsty Crawford, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you. Monroe County school officials say tonight is the start of a year-long campaign preventing teen vaping use. They plan to show the educational trailer at upcoming parent-teacher conference nights, and they're looking into uh, implementing technology like vape detectors. Yeah. So we'll keep you posted on this. More to come.